Good evening, Sergeant Kevin Griffiths here again with the Placer County Sheriff's Office uh, inside of our MCV at the command post here in Auburn to talk to you about the river fire and what we've been able to accomplish today as far as repopulation. As you can see in Colfax, you're seeing a lot more green tonight. That's because our partners have been out there making the area safe. We've had PG&E, propane companies, roads, utilities, all throughout this area trying to make it safe for you to come back in. When we're looking at it, we're gonna go north here in the north side of Colfax between Rollins Lake and the greater city limits of Colfax. We've been able to open up a large swath around Highway 174, Rollins Lake. A couple of areas are still impacted. You're talking White Oak Road is impacted in. We've had to unfortunately close that out. There's been a lot of devastation in there, but we still have people in there trying to get people back into there. Shady Glen Mobile Home Park is wide open. They were able to do some good work in there and keep that open. So we're glad to get those residents back in there. When it comes down to the city of Colfax, all green. City of Colfax is open. Every place is gonna be able to be open and running in, doing the things they do. We break down Ben Taylor on the backside of Colfax towards the high school. It's green, but once we get to the high school, that's where we're gonna to have to keep those roadblocks. We've got a lot of pg e power lines down. Trees are still falling down there. The fire guys are still doing work down there. So right now we've got to keep you out. I wish we could send you home, but we've got to keep you out. So you're gonna see that if you try to go down Ben Taylor, you're gonna be turned around right at the high school. As we move south into our zone 1B, you're gonna see that right along this edge, that's almost the fire's edge along Milk Ranch Road. We're gonna keep that pretty tight against Milk Ranch Road just because we wanna make sure that the fire guys still have the opportunity to do their job, get those trees out of the way. But Tokyo on a way down to Placer Hills Road, Plum Tree, all this is wide open. If you were thinking of going to the Bear River Campground to go camping, don't, we've closed that off for now. We don't want anybody down there. We wanna make it an access point for fire. So once again, because of our safety partners, huge progress made today. We're gonna to continue to work on that. We understand this red zone, we wanna make it smaller, but the reality is this, there's a lot of work to be done, a lot of safety things that go into that, and we're not gonna let anybody in there until it is safe. So we may be looking for some time, so help us out follow the roadblocks, stay out of those areas where you don't need to be, and be looking out for those fire guys and cops that are running around because there's still a lot of work to be done. But thank you for being patient with us because we're extremely happy with the work we got done today.